Imagine a fruit that tastes like red wine and chocolate, but is actually good for you. A new study from the University of Florida shows this fruit is real and could help prevent illnesses like coronary heart disease and cancer. A three-year study on acai fruit shows these berries have an exceptionally high level of polyphenolics, better known as antioxidants. The red pigments that give the fruit its dark purple color also give it one of the highest levels of antioxidants of any fruit on the planet. Antioxidants have demonstrated health benefits and may help prevent serious diseases like Alzheimer's, coronary heart disease, and certain types of cancer. And now University of Florida researcher Stephen Talcott says test models show the chemical compounds found in acai can weaken and even kill leukemia cells. The results of our cell culture models have indicated that the polyphenolics present in acai uh, contain significant activity to induce the death of cancer cells, which is very beneficial. A human research trial with acai is already underway, and researchers hope to show that drinking a single serving of acai juice can have beneficial effects on controlling bad cholesterol, reducing inflammation, and possibly help to reduce the signs of aging. The berries are found only one place in the world, on palm trees in the Amazon River Basin. They're harvested whole, but because of a hard inner seed, only the outermost layers of the berries are edible. The berries are crushed and then mixed with water to create a thick fruit pulp. Although the water dilutes the antioxidants, the levers are still equal to those found in other fruits, such as blueberries, pomegranates, and red wine. The pulp is then shipped around the world to be sold as a finished product or in other forms. Other products are actually clarified and made, made into an actual juice product that looks very similar to grape juice or pomegranate juice. Uh, and there's also uh, dehydrated forms, uh, powders of acai that are usually sold in capsule form as a dietary supplement. At the University of Florida, Rebecca Parker reporting.